Wow, that was just some trailer we just got there. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lushin, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of The Walking Dead, and since the trailer dropped today, I just really wanted to give my thoughts on it, because it was an amazing trailer, so I just want to give my opinion on stuff that happened, and what I think will happen this season. So this trailer really sets up that we're going to be following our four, maybe you can even count five leads for this entire season, but we've got Michonne, Daryl and Carol, Negan surprisingly is a huge forefront character in this trailer, you've even got Alpha kind of stepping into it a lot as well, but you see Daryl and Carol, I'm guessing now, they're, from the trailer I'm getting the idea that they're just sick of it all, they're sick of all the fight and they just want to get away from it all, but they also want to get their revenge on Alpha for what she did, so they go into the Whisper Camp to try and kill Alpha, it doesn't work out, so they get away, Alpha goes then to meet with Michonne and Daryl and talks about what happened. She says she's very annoyed. But then I think that's how the war is going to start by just Daryl and Carol going into. I thought it was going to be Daryl and or Carol and Negan, but now it's Daryl and Carol, which I'm getting from the trailer. Go in. That's how the war starts, and it looks like the war is going to be mainly help happening in the com not the Commonwealth, the Ocean side, which is really interesting because we actually I don't, from memory we didn't see it at all in season nine, barely in season. I don't think we even seen it in season eight either. Or I think it was an episode 2 in season 8. But still seeing it on the beach is going to be great. We actually see it with the boat. And a huge, huge surprise. But towards the middle of the trailer. We see Michonne and Ezekiel kiss. Which is mad. Because at this point in the comics. Ezekiel's dead. But before that. Michonne is actually with Ezekiel. So I was like. Oh my god. That was nuts. Especially because Rick. I don't, she doesn't know Rick's alive. But. It's, I always thought. My prediction is Michonne is going to go on the boat. Off to find Rick. But I'm starting to think maybe Carol's going to take Michonne's storyline from the comics where she goes off for a while on a boat. But I don't know. It's just it's all setting up really well. And back at Alexandria, we get to Eugene running into a room, picking up the um, microphone. I'm assuming it's Stephanie's talking to her from the Commonwealth. I don't I don't know if they're going to... The Commonwealth's going to have to be different from what it is in the comics. Because the Commonwealth in the comics is introduced to kind of finish up the comics. But they don't want to finish up the show. So introducing Stephanie and Commonwealth, I think it's just going to be a whole new story arc rather than finishing it off. We also get to see Rosita with her baby, which was pretty cool. So we know that there was a bit of time jump, a big enough time jump because the baby is big enough. We also see Judah and she's holding up a Whisperer mask. and which is So that shows that either Whisperers were inside Alexandria or someone brought the mask home. We see Gabriel trying to get Negan out to fight. Aaron doesn't really want him. Aaron's got this pretty cool because he lost his hand last season. So at the end of it, it's got a little big spike, so he's able to fight with that hand still. And Negan is on his way out to fight. Hopefully, I really hope we get to see the Negan and um, Beta fight when Negan actually uses Lucille. I really hope we get to see that. We also get to see a little bit of Lydia, and it looks like she's training with Morgan's bow stuff. But to her, it's not because of Morgan's, it's because of Henry. We also get to see what I'm assuming was Henry in the back of a mirror. It looks like he's kind of haunting Carol. So she's so guilted by his death that she's actually in the background. I'm pretty sure that was him. We get to see Trio Alexandria. We've seen about two or three pictures of Silence the Whispers, which was so cool. Actually, see that whole thing from the comics play out. You see people actually wear masks over their head to represent the Whispers. You can tell that these they're younger people, so they don't understand the full threat of it. But seeing this, I assume the people that do that is also the ones who do Silence the Whispers. I'm actually starting to think now that it's... Um, there was three kids from Hilltop. I'm assuming that the one who survived is the one doing all this. Overall, I know I've missed a lot about this trailer. I just kind of picked up the snippets that I was really excited about and that I wanted to talk about the most. If there's anything you guys want to talk about, post it down below and I'll talk back. I just This trailer was insane. I think it's my favourite trailer we've ever actually gotten. Season 8 and Season 9 were both great, but Season 10 is just blowing my mind seeing this trailer. I'm so excited for it. If you're excited for Season let me know down below and everything. Just like, subscribe, and just oh this trailer is insane i cannot wait for season 10 to start now but as always thanks for watching